What did you expect? You could blame it on conditions. Blame it on crack. You could blame it on the system. Blame it on the fact that 12 got jurisdiction to ride around in neighborhoods that they ain't never lived in. Blame it on the strain that you feel when daddy missing. Blame it on Trump shit. Blame it on Clinton. Blame it on trap music and the politicians. Or the fact that every black boy want to be pippin'. But they only got 12 slots on the pistons. Everybody, is Mental Health Day with Jay again. We're going to be talking about mental health in the workplace. Again, I am not a doctor. I'm just a guy with an opinion that the black community needs to come together and talk about mental health issues. And we might as well do it together as a community. So, today we're going to be talking about workplace uh, mental health issues, things that you deal with, things that you go through. Let's jump right into it. Unconscious bias is having a haircut. In the uh, workforce that I was in, which is sales, you had to present yourself a certain way. So if you let your hair grow out too much, people is like, okay, well, what is he doing with it? Is he going to have an afro? Is he going to cut it? Is he, what is he doing? But also, the white gentleman get to come in with the hair scruffy, dead head, and just throw a hat on top of it, balding. No one say anything to them to keep their hair up. But they had something to come ask me, well, what you gonna do with your hair today? Well, this is what I did with my hair. I grew it out. And you can't really see how long it is, but I did that because I got tired of people telling me what to do with my hair. So I do my hair the way I choose to do my hair. In the workplace, workplace my job is not gonna be in jeopardy or compromise because my hair looks the same. I can still make my style, I can still get my things done while having my hair the way I want my hair. It kind of changes your outlook on how you feel like you can perform. I was in a performance-based industry, so if you can't perform because you feel like your hair is out of place or this is out of place or that is out of place, people, it, 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 it it makes a toll on your uh, performance. It just allows you to like slow down and you're not fully focused, you're not committed, talking to that customer, dealing with that client, going about your day-to-day -day work activities. So with that, you got to make sure that, you know what I'm saying, that you feel comfortable with who you are and you don't deal with anxiety. Or if you do deal with anxiety, you got to make sure that you understand that, listen, it's not you, it is them they're trying to put you in a box that you don't need to be in. And at that point, you need to realize if that job or that money is worth your time, opposed to your, your self-dignity, your self-worth, and your self-mental uh, care. Never know I'm black. Stupid as a sound, I walk in. Blackity black, black, I'm black. I'm me, I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. I don't feel like uh, y'all need to act, wonder if he's, you know what I'm saying, in between or not. Nah, I'm the black guy that gets his job done and you like it or love it. Ain't no in between. So like, it, it, I feel like I go in it with a positive attitude so I get positive results. I do realize that some black folk do go to work and they be like, well, I'm the black person so I can't get angry, so I can't get this. Nah, I have all my emotions. My emotions are real emotions. I'm a human being before this skin got here. You know what I'm saying? I was a human being in my mother's womb. Which, I mean, not unfortunately, but you know what I'm saying? It's just they chose what they chose mm -hmm. uh, genetically. Honestly. So, but um, I do make sure that I present myself with who I am going to be the whole time. And I present myself as respectful, but I am very disrespectful if needed. I've been in the service industry, and I've been in the sales uh, industry. If you see, other than a black person that is in today's standards, fashion, standards of fashion, if you don't see them in that, you automatically, your mind says broke, or hood, gangster or this or that and the third and we shouldn't do that to our own kind 
and we shouldn't allow them to do that to us as well. But we, again, people just dress the way they dress. They are the way they are. They not do anything that. But you shouldn't automatically assume that because I've seen those same people come out there and buy fifty thousand dollar cars cash. I've seen those people come out there with eight hundred uh, credit scores. I've seen those same people come out there and get things done. So make sure that you're treating everybody the same way you would want to be treated as this person that's in the black face, white space, as that person, but also as the customer, make sure that you're up there presenting yourself as a person that's here to do business. I saw them make that assumption about the coworkers. And instead of saying that they didn't want to take the black customer, and they just say, well, oh, I thought you would get along with them better. Nah, you just thought that I should go take it because I'm black. Like, try to beat around the bush to be racist or not say something racist, but still be racist at the same time. You gonna be racist, just say, nah, I don't want a black folk. And that's, I can accept that a little bit better as a black person to me mm-hmm. in the workplace white people do that to black people and they should understand that man if you're just gonna feel the way you feel say that some black people understand not all black people understand and that's the risk you take i'm just one of the ones that you can run by and you know i want to take them yeah man hey again my name's jay we're having a black conversation about mental health i'm no doctor i'm just a guy with an opinion that makes sure that the black community gets to have an opinion on the topic as well we want to make sure that uh, you guys are practicing mental health. Again, stop and count. One, two, three, four. Again, those four seconds are calm. You just got to make sure that you just take a conscious effort to stop, take your time, and get your mental health together. Again, I'm Jay. Y'all have a good one. See y'all next week.